Okay, we're looking at number two from uh, your homework sections on lesson number nine. And um, we just gotta match all of the equations that fit this diagram. So uh, I know that I've got uh, one, two, three X's in this, in this total. So uh, if I don't have three X's, like I don't have three X's there, then I probably need to make it not be part of my solution. Now, just because it doesn't have three X's doesn't mean that, uh, you know, something that's being done to it couldn't eventually make it. But this one right here has no way of getting that X to being three because there's no division happening or uh, multiplication on the other side of the equation. So that one's just not true. If I was to go ahead and write this the way that it looks, I would say that I've got three, not only X's, but I got three groups of X plus five. So that's one way to think about it. So if I got three groups of x plus five, that's why a doesn't work because there's only one group of x plus five, which means that uh, the one that does is this one. But there are other variations along the way that uh, are also true. Uh, like for instance, if if I divided this entire left side by three, and I divided this entire right side by three, then I would be left with one x plus five is the same as the quotient of 18 and 3 which you see uh, on B and so that's why B should be selected here because it's the same thing now dividing a number by 3 is the same as keep change flip as multiplying by its reciprocal which we have learned so which is why D could also be selected uh, and then of course there's another selection that you could make here uh, but unfortunately they make a slight mistake we could have selected E if and only if they would have made this 5 a 15 because you don't just have three uh, X's you get three fives and three fives don't make five it makes 15 so that's why we don't pick E although that one was close so B C and D are the only ones that you select there let's go let's go down and look at these matches of stories uh, we got to match the story to the equation. A stack of nested paper cups is 8 inches tall. The first cup is 4 inches tall, and each of the rest of the cups in the stack adds a quarter inch to the height of the stack. Um, each of the cups add a quarter inch. So that tells me that a quarter should be getting multiplied. Um, by the number of cups that are being stacked, which of course is your unknown here. So I'm leaning toward number two for that one just because I see the each and the quarter. The banker uses four cups of flour. She uses a quarter cup to flour the counters and the rest to make eight identical muffins. So four is the total here. A quarter is what's thrown on the table. And then the remaining is split up into eight identical that to me matches number three because you know you've got a quarter standalone number there and uh, that quarter standalone number uh, matches number three's idea you know, the quarter is not getting multiplied by anything you're making eight identical muffins so that kind of tells me 8x so i would match that one to number three i think that looks like uh, you know a total of four which has four elements by itself uh, elena has an eight foot piece of ribbon and she cuts off a piece that is a quarter of a foot long and cuts the remainder into four pieces. So cutting the remainder into four pieces of equal length, that tells me there's a 4x. And part of those four equal length pieces, the quarter that was cut off, looks like it matches number number one. So, you know, uh, I want to say A is 2, B is 3, and C is number 1. But I'm not going to write anything down here. I'll let you guys kind of listen to that and see if it can make sense. I mean, you could make some tape diagrams to help you, you know, come to that conclusion. You know, like for that last one, you've got an eight-foot piece of rope. And a quarter inch of it was just cut off, or a quarter, quarter of a foot was cut off. And then it was split into four equal pieces. So that matches... You know, you could draw this, and you could clearly see that that matches number one. Okay, so C matches number one, B matches number three, and A matches number two.